doing that before Tuesday. But I don't think it's just the one house you can, or the one neighbors you can talk to, in my opinion, be even though they're adjacent. There's a lot of people that travel through of the residences behind you. And I just think it, that it, it's, it's, it's important to talk to quite a few, I'll in my opinion. And, I'll go out and beat feet starting tomorrow night. I wish that was last week, you beat and beat, because we're trying to decide when it's night. But. I understand. Uh. <clears throat> well, what's, and I want to give it a try, or just uh, not, or? I would make a motion we approve it for the next two shows, uh, just give them a two-week trial. See how things go and possibly monitor it. Maybe some of us can ride by and see what's going on and um, and reevaluate it afterwards. All right, I have a motion and I have a second for a trial. I second for a trial. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Aye. Aye. Okay. Three to two. Okay. Thank you. Any other? That's it. We just cut us down and we'll keep an eye on it. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <coughs> you know what I mean, Lewis? Uh, the only thing I'd like to mention is the um, dedication ceremony for the Thompson State standby tomorrow morning at 11. We have a representative from the Department of Housing and Development and the uh, Housing Urban Development, uh, Housing Urban Development, the U.S. government coming. Okay. Along with that, um, we finally we did receive the uh, uh, money that um, from the um, reinvestment thing that we got from the state uh, in an amount of um, $128,745 for. Uh, the rehabilitation of the project. Uh, uh, this reimbursement is from the C CDPG grant funds that we have, were awarded, and I think there will probably be another final payment coming along. Zach? That, 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 that be the first payment made? That's the first payment, yeah, we're getting up to the final payment. Okay, very good. Okay. I have a proclamation. Um, it's a lengthy one, I won't read it all, but read part of it here that uh, the head of Elk chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution has requested that the town of Elk can recognize the United States Congress joint resolution of August 2nd, 1956, declaring the week of September 17th, 23rd of each year as Constitutional Week. So if I can get a motion to accept the proclamation for a Constitutional Week. So moved. Second. Thank you. Thanks for the discussion. All those in favor? Uh, okay. Uh, I think, uh, there you go. We got it for you. Huh? Okay. Okay. Oh, Michelle's got it back there for you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oops. You okay? I think we received a nice letter. I might probably saw in the wig that the uh, gentleman's um, walker was picked up by a waste management um, and lady uh, was complimenting Tracy Public Works. So nice of a job she did by able to uh, make contact with waste management and was able to uh, get the gentleman a brand new walker. It was just an error on their part, but uh, she was very thankful and complimented uh, Tracy doing an outstanding job in helping her uh, with the walker situation. And that's all I have. All right, Joe? Um, Michelle had said in her packet sent an email about the MML Banner City. Uh, program and I hope we take part in that this year because it's pretty simple um, I do have a request 
I know in the past, the If I Were a Mayor contest went out to Leeds Elementary the past couple of years. If we could keep it in a um, town limits elementary school and offer it to one of the other schools for this year. But they have to. We have. We're going out to the other schools, but they have to come in and let us know. Well, do we send like a letter to them, seeing if oh, they yeah. want to participate? Have we in the past or the other schools? MML sends out packets to all the schools. To what they send to they the send schools? Out. Yeah. Are you sure they do that? I so thought listen, we contacted okay. the schools. I thought that the the. The municipality itself contacts. Well, I'm not sure. Yeah, they, they contacted me a couple years ago, and we had that. Room. So they know all the schools in, in the state of Maryland. They oh, submit yeah. them. They submit them. I can't believe it. But you might be right. I'm not saying that. I agree. Okay. Well, something we could check into. Yeah. Um, and also, the Sonic is at, is off oh. with a boom. <laughs> Um, they have been so busy, but I noticed today and another day when I was driving by, they have the entrance that you could go from up the hill from McDonald's blocked with cones. And to me, today especially, it looked like that was the reason they're backing up on Route 40, because people can't go through that way, and they're going around on 40 and they can't go in. No one's parking in the front of it, they're just parking in the back. Is that something we have asked them to do or why is that blocked? So McDonald Corporation property. But the Sonic opening? Not no, not know. going up the hill. Oh, the Sonic know. parking lot, like right at the top of the hill, at their parking, okay, lot, their parking lot is coned. Going down the hill, Lewis, going to the from there the There'd have to be a distinction yeah. between property so, owners, is that? Property, we don't, we don't right. Yeah. Well, I know there was concerns on opening day, they were told about it, so I'm just concerned that did someone from the town ask them to block that? Because I don't think they would if you're not able to get in, or you can't get up into it from the down step, because there was a, they wanted that opening. So, so that had to be in, in part of the plan of exiting out of the um, establishment. So if that um, opening was supposed to be used for them to exit back on the 40, it should have been part of their um, their plan. That's what, what she's I bringing out. So the cone, the cone blocking that off is causing people to go back down into exactly. the hallway and it's cluttering everything up. So if you could just check on it and see if, I don't know, if planning or somebody asked them to lock that off because they thought there was concerns. Mm -hmm. But that is definitely what's backing up that traffic on 40. Okay. And that's all I have. Well, all the stalls were 40 full the other night when I stopped. It's all the time, right. every time I go by. You can't get in there. A lot of them are trying to either align waiting to get into a stall well, you got the backup trying to go through the drive -through. And they're both from that same entrance because yeah, you can't get in the right. other way. Exactly. Uh, basically, um, <clears throat> Mr. Hicks brought up a proposal as well as we did in the past about the students at Rudy Park. Uh, I saw an email from Dr. Devine that she asked the transportation part and department to make provisions for a bus to stop by and pick them up, so that should be done to help them good. to get oh, to school. Good. good. Yeah. I think that's a plus. No, she was done. I talked to her the other night, and she said she'd get back with me. Let me know. So, that's good. Very good. That's it. Very good. That was a question. I'm very pleased to hear that. Yeah. Um, I want to congratulate uh, Commissioner Piner on his uh, move forward in the primary. Um, congratulations on that. Um, that's pretty much. Oh, I, I still like a uh, follow-up with the Delancey Village uh, playground. It's up. It's, it's up. up. Oh, it's up. Didn't get the email. Yeah. Okay, we're well, ready to it. Okay. All we have. Is that's fine. Play. I'm just glad it's up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. That's it for me. Let's get a comment. Let's get a comment to uh, Mr. Gibbons with that uh, the concerns with the bus picking them up. What does that do to the two-mile limit that school board? As for kids not riding school bus. Well, the, 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 there, there is a limit uh, as far as bus not picking you up, but I guess a special group, as I guess this group here is, uh, approached the Board of Education with the concerns and safety of the kids, and I guess they're going to follow through. Certainly, I agree, there's a lot of kids who walk to school, and maybe somebody can go to bat for them. 
but you're going to do it one at a time because I know a lot of kids walk in the cold weather and it's difficult. Okay. That was brought up at the Planning Commission Monday night What's also that? about the children at Rudy Park that something needed to be done because they're walking down two highways with no, no sidewalk at the present time. So. I mean, we also have kids that walk from Bridge Street and High Street and over on Blue Street, and they have a heck of a walk, and they don't have transportation. And I still feel sorry for them, so I don't know what provision the Board of Education can do, particularly during winter months, maybe being able to pick them up. But is this going to be permanent then? Or is this right now, it's going to be permanent for the okay. kids at Rudy Park. There you go, because I know we're looking into a grant from the State Highway that uh, we're going to be looking at. Yeah, it's a school grant. Dean's going to go to uh, their uh, seminar on it. Um, the reason the, the bus stop occurred at uh, Rudy Park was the mayor issued a letter after the state highway had met with the town of housing authority at the site because of the number of kids at cost 213. The, uh, side, the new sidewalk that runs down by Blomis's, and there's the uh, actually the uh, pedestrian crossing for 88 with wide or anything. Right. The state highway suggested that in an interim period, that if we could get bus service there until the state highway could, could partner with the town and improve the uh, pedestrian safety access uh, to uh, the road over there, uh, 279 from the park, then a bus stop would be a safe way of dealing with it. So uh, we want we sent a letter to uh, Dr. Levine and Ron, and um, but I had heard back and I guess we're just hearing that now. Yeah, that was, it came today through an email, but you know, they're still going to be concerned because I would imagine there would be a one-time bus stop for all the kids, but a lot of kids at Rudy Park, some like to go to school at, you know, interval time, so you're still going to find a very few still crossing the highway, but at least you're making provisions for them. Well, then they'll have to get in touch with somebody over there and let them know that the uh, bus will be picking them up and some... She's right. dispatching it to, to people, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, they'll get out email. Okay. She should send you one. Right. I, I've got one more thing I forgot. Yeah, I mean, that's a good, that's a good comment. And I, I tell you, I, I think that was a, a special circumstance. That's why we, we looked into that. And I, I can certainly appreciate long travel from, from other students. Um, but again, I think that deserved a special, a special circumstance um, dealing with that, that particular issue. Um, and that made me think of another issue. On Whitehall Road, I'm not even sure if this is our road, uh, where the old Walmart is. Um, county Road. That's the county road? Between Route 40 and uh, 213 is the county road. Okay, all right. Uh, during my travels, uh, I noticed that um, um, there were uh, the uh, not the walkers, but the, the self self-propelled uh, chairs. Mm -hmm. um, that sidewalk is is completely overgrown over there, and they actually were out in the road uh, trying to get to wherever they were going. Maybe Walgreens. I'm not sure where they went from there. If it was KFC or whatnot, but I was very concerned about that because that sidewalk over there is just it's unaccessible uh, to them. I'll uh, look at it and. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, well, we, we brought that up a while back because when Walmart was supposed to bring the sidewalk around, there was some talk about connecting it to the sidewalk continuing to Holly Hall. Okay. That's the sidewalk you're talking about, right? Yes. And um, uh, I'm not sure exactly what was done or said about that, but that was been brought up a couple times because there was concern when I was on the school board about continuing the sidewalk. To the school, okay. so that's the same part of the sidewalk you're talking about. Yeah. So whatever's there now, you know, I, I can understand the completing that 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 process. But whatever's there now, if we could look at whatever we can do to help the county or communication or whatever to get that cleared up so it can be used, I appreciate it. Okay. okay. Michelle, I've got a sign in the sheet. Thank <laughs> you.